What's going on guys? Tactical Bacon here and welcome back to Daisy Vanilla Mod Season 1 Episode 7. So Episode 6 was quite a while ago and I do realize that I had to finish this season out. I'm not exactly sure if we're going to be doing a second season or not. It really all depends on if you guys uh, give me the right kind of feedback that I'm looking for. I might try to do a season two eventually. I can't really say that it would be anytime soon though. Um, I would like to get a few more people involved in the Daisy Vanilla Mod, but it just seems like every time I've ever brought up the concept of the uh, Vanilla Mod to people, they're just kind of like, yeah, but Overpock has traitors and missions and Overwatch is such a crazy chaotic PvP environment and it just kind of seems like you know the vanilla mod doesn't really get too much love nowadays even though there are still a substantial amount of players on uh, a lot of the vanilla servers so I don't know it really all depends but um as you guys can see we spawn really really far west in the south we're gonna go ahead and work over towards Belota and see if we can get some weapons going um hopefully come across there's a pig over there i think that's a pig yeah i'm pretty sure it's a pig um but yeah hopefully we come across some good gear and i hope you guys enjoyed the video somebody died but i don't think it's gonna be worth going to their body i really don't it's a backpack That'll be good for uh, picking up the loots I find along the way here. I'm not even gonna bother going over there in the street with those other zombies. Jesus, there's a shit ton of zombies in this little town. There must have been a bunch of people here recently. It's a very good possibility that they've already pushed over to where I'm going, which is Spelota. Try to see if I can find a gun. Something, I mean a, a hatchet at this point would, would be welcome. I don't know, I'm pretty sure I'll be able to lose this zombie at some point, so... We'll just go to Belota and hope we have better luck than we had here. I mean, we didn't have the worst luck in the world. I mean, I found a little patrol pack. Uh, I came across some dead players. I didn't kill them, but they were dead, so... But yeah, we'll, uh... Pretty sure... No, he's still running around back there, but I'm gonna lose that zombie here shortly. But yeah, we're gonna go to Belota and check that out. Hopefully there'll be something worth a shit there. Who knows? There he is. Yeah, I lost him. Actually, it looks like there's a couple buildings over here I can loot. That's good. I don't like the fact that those zombies are walking out of there. Hmm. Could mean that there's some, uh... Some bad shit about to go down, who knows. Put my, uh... Another little thing on direct communication. No loot in there. Scrap metal. What all can I do with scrap metal? J to bring up the journal. Hmm. I'm sure there's something I can do with it. What are those? Two inch metal pipes. Wow. Empty can. A flashlight. I guess I can take that just in case that uh, it gets dark and I decide to record while it's dark. Tools. 
toolbox. There's somebody getting attacked over there by a zombie, it looks like. Wow. That sucks. That dude probably got gang-banged by those zombies, and he's dead now. Oh. Maybe not. Does kind of put me in a bit of an awkward situation, though. Hello. Oh, hello. Hey, did you see that the, uh, there was some guy over here that got attacked by a group of zombies? You see that? Over by the railroad tracks? Yeah. Yeah, I would, I, I would stay away from that group of zombies if I were you, man. That is, uh, that is no good. I'll just let that zombie go up there and hopefully kill him. Maybe I can find a hatchet. If I can find a hatchet and kill that guy. That would be amazing. And it's not like I've got anything to take from him. Besides what, a couple of bandages? Guy probably doesn't have jack shit. I'm gonna go over there and beat his ass with a crowbar. Yeah, right. Yeah, right. But I did tell him it was probably not a good idea to go over by that group of zombies, and then I ran right into that group of zombies, so. I don't know if that makes me seem like a crazy person or whatever. God damn it, what the hell? I'll take a watch, why not? It'll be the first time that I actually pick up a watch and just be like, eh, oh, yeah, whatever. A watch. So I can tell what time of day it is. Obviously. But yeah, we're going to go over to the airfield now and uh, maybe we'll run into that guy again. Maybe we won't. Who knows? But, uh,. We gotta find a gun. I prefer like an AK of some sort. But uh but yeah. We just need to find a gun. Alright, so you you guys are gonna have to forgive me. There are a lot of uh well not a lot of buildings to be checking out over here, but there are a few buildings that I should at least go over really quickly. I forget how sometimes it's very important even to check the the buildings that you would normally overlook in a mod like uh, Overpock. How important those buildings can be in this mod. There's a house right there. Could spawn a map. That would be... I mean, I don't really need a map because I, for the most part I know where I'm going, but... It would be helpful, but unfortunately, the only thing that's here are bandages and a fucking shit ton of zombies. And I'm pretty sure that I am, uh, yeah, 
I'm cornered here. There, there's no way. Oh, fuck. Wait a minute. Uh, remove from tool belt. Alright. I don't even know if it's going to be worth me bandaging. But, uh... Oh shit, maybe I should. Once I get the fuck away from these zombies. Fuck. Jesus. I mean, I, I just run into the house and all of a sudden... All these motherfuckers just come up at me. Yeah, I'm gonna have to at least try to fight back and kill these guys. Oh my god. This is not a video effect. This is just the, uh, the situation we're in now. <laughs> this is just the situation we're in. Uh, oh, I'm gonna have to stay away from as many of these zombies as I can. I have to find a gun. Um, oh, Jesus Christ. I'm just gonna be passing out now. There's our friend. He's gonna make it to Belota before I do. Probably. Who knows? I'm gonna pass out again though, here pretty soon. I just got a good feeling that I'm... I'm either gonna pass out or I'm gonna get shot by whoever is was taking shots just a second ago off in the distance. <clears throat> I don't think my blood is regenerating at all. Yeah, that zombie's gonna catch up to me when I pass out and kill me. One of these zombies will. Till then, I'm just gonna keep going for it though. Actually, I'm going to come over to this complex over here. There might be... I mean, in, like, in all honesty, I'm probably going to need somebody to come over and blood, blood bag me. Yeah, this is it right here. Yep. There it is. Mod is hard, man. <laughs> Alright, so I thought that along the way to the Northwest Airfield, I would uh, stop and check off a few areas. Um, if you guys are wondering where exactly I'm... I was just working my way up through the uh, woods over there to the far west side of the map. Nice. So I am going to need to use this as a temporary weapon, but at least I've got a temporary weapon now. Ooh. That's... oh man. Uh, let's see, add the tool belt, add the back, weapon hatchet. Just had to make sure that I still had everything. <laughs> uh, 
Can I carry both though? Can I carry both of these? Wow, that thing sounds like it's loud as fuck. Thing sounds really, really loud. Um, I mean, I've got ammo for the crossbow, but I really want to carry the CZ. I don't know. I'll just keep carrying the CZ for now, though. It did end up helping me out with those couple of zombies there, but. I push this way now. I think that there should be a uh, couple of different deer stands along the way as well. So we'll be checking those out. But yeah, I mean, that's not too bad. I mean, found a CZ 550 and a hatchet that I can use for defending myself against these zombies here. Not too shabby. I'm gonna fire the deer stands now. Hmm. Actually, let me come over here. I'm pretty sure I'm just outside of Zelenogorsk. If that's the case, I want to uh, definitely go into Zelenic Wars and find some shit, so we should, we should check that out. So yeah, we are just outside of, uh, or we were just outside of Zelenic Wars. We're actually moving inside of uh, Zelenic Wars right now. I did see a few zombies over here. There they are. Nothing. A hatchet. Not exactly sure how much uh, weapon related loot we're going to find over here. If any at all. There's an engine. Unfortunately, I don't have a backpack or you know the location of a vehicle, so that's not really going to do us any good. There's no backpack in there. But there is an engine, so there's always that. I'll come up here into the town and hopefully find something a little bit better. There is a uh, hospital and a school up here. We're definitely going to be checking those two buildings out. Probably significantly higher possibility of uh, running into a player in there. And the last time I checked, the server was still pretty full, so... See, the weird thing is, like, about the DayZ mod, at least for me, is you rarely hear anything going on. You just randomly get a, uh... I can't gut him. need a knife. I need a knife! 